consumer grade 3D scanners are becoming better and better. Leading the field here seems to be Revopoint who just launched their first affordable scanner on Kickstarter last year and now they're launching a new one. <music> Revopoint started a new Kickstarter campaign for the Revopoint Pop 2 that is supposed to be the successor of the Revopoint Pop 3D scanner that I already did a couple of videos about. Not even a year or I think roughly a year after their first Kickstarter campaign they're starting a new Kickstarter campaign with updated hardware. 454,000 euros Revopoint has already collected here with this new campaign. 1,138 backers and 44 days remain. So this is going to be a very successful campaign on Kickstarter for Revopoint. They just use the platform as a marketing tool and it seems to work brilliantly for them. So what's my take on this? From what they're presenting here on their Kickstarter campaign, it looks like a true improvement, especially some of the features that didn't work so well in my opinion, with the original Revopoint Pop, they seem to have been addressed and work better now with the Pop 2. Especially there's a German YouTuber Kickstarter review, that's, that's a paid for review. I will put you the link to this video in the description and you also find it on their Kickstarter page. This YouTuber tried the demonstration device that Revopoint had set him on quite challenging objects like this dinosaur skull here and from what he's doing here and from what this looks like on the video there is really some improvement also he seems to be a seasoned user of 3d scanners that looks all quite professional so if this is actually authentic and this is the real result he achieved then this looks very very good so they claim this has now uh, increased precision Precision is now, according to their claim, down to 0.1 millimeter and overall everything is just better with this new device. It looks quite similar, I have to say, but yeah, apparently it's the hardware has been generally overhauled and they are working on the software. This all looks quite intriguing because this device was already quite good and so a new and upgraded version addressing some of the weaknesses seems like a very good idea. The price point on Kickstarter, the basic package here costs 3,099 Hong Kong dollars. That is a little bit more than they wanted for the Pop 1. I think 2,700 is what I paid back then. And the campaign closes January 1st and delivery date they uh, announced February 2022. I think they announced something similar last time. It took a little bit longer for them to deliver then, but I got the device all fine here. Overall, I still think this whole move is a little bit questionable. This product has been effectively on the market for less than a year. I got mine, I don't know, May or April. Now they're already announcing the next ones with improvements and so forth. While that is all fine, I'd much rather have seen an improvement to the existing software. That existing software, Handy Scan and Handy Studio, that they provide with the original POP1 3D scanner is far from perfect. The functionality is not very big and some of the trickier things like fusing scans in different orientations into one model it's difficult to achieve and there aren't many options to tweak it so i don't think they have fully realized the potential of this one yet and starting a new kickstarter campaign for a new product kind of leaves a bitter taste for us backers who have supported the first generations of this because I'm absolutely sure the software for this could still be improved considerably making this product much better 
and uh, allowing us backers of the first generation to achieve much better scanning results. So seeing this now, I fear that they put all their energy into that new generation and um, this will basically not receive so much support anymore. But, but let's see, maybe they still upgrade uh, and update uh, and improve on the software for the first generation of Reverpoint scanners. I would very much like to see that. Should you upgrade if you have a POP1? I'm not sure. I would wait until independent reviews appear to see if the main issues that I saw with this one, that is scanning of hollow and concave objects and losing our orientation on symmetries and fusing scans from different orientations, if those issues are addressed and work better. And until then, I would say definitely wait. Looking at the pace of how they churn out new products, if you wait another year, maybe there's going to be a pop three. So I definitely say skip the pop two and wait for the pop three. That was my quick update on the new Revopoint pop two Kickstarter campaign. Quite interesting, interesting move by Revopoint to introduce a new product so soon and do it on Kickstarter again. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. And please remember what goes up must come down here at Gravity Bytes.